Patuloy ang repatriation program na isinasagawa ng pamahalaan sa mga Pilipinong naiipit sa walang tigil na pag ng Israel sa Lebanon. Ayon kay Migrant Workers Secretary Hans Leo Kakdak, may mga nakatakda na ring umuwi sa bansa ngayong buwan. Habang may git dalawang daan pa ang sumasailalim na lang sa proseso ng Lebanese Immigration Authorities. We are slated to bring home together with the DFA and the OWA uh, around 151 so far and counting. No? It's a fluid uh, count uh, for the month of October. No? Uh, the, the, the plan so far is to book them on commercial flights as they have so been booked on commercial flights. And uh, again, uh, 107, 107 in... Uh, in um, the shelters and they're being taken care of by the DMW and, and the OWA. Tiniyak pa ni Secretary Kakdak na nasa mas ligtas na lugar na ang mga apektadong Pilipino sa kaguluan sa Lebanon. Kasalukuyan ay niyang kinukupkop ang nasa isang daang Pinoy sa tatlong shelter sa naturang bansa. Partikular na sa syudad ng Beirut kung saan nangyari ang mga panibagong pambobomba ng Israel. Habang karamihan ay nais pa manatili sa Lebanon. Uh, of course, the work itself, the, the need for work, the income that they get uh, uh, is there. But uh, I would think there would be a higher calling or reason why they choose to stay behind. But having said that, yung personal safety is also a concern on our side. We care for our citizens. Uh, and so it's always imperative under the law no, to, to provide and offer repatriation safe, secure, and free repatriation services. Kinumpirma naman ng DMW na wala pa rin naitatalang mga Pilipinong nasawi o nasaktan bunsod ng mga kaguluhan sa Lebanon maging sa Israel. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahalagahan.